The explosion of edge AI and private 5G networks is transforming industries across the globe. Joining us today to discuss the challenges and innovations driving this revolution are Harini Malik, Advanced Micro Devices Global Head, Telco Business at AMD, and Gail Levin, Product Marketing Lead for HPE. Thank you both for being with us. Gail, I'll start with you. What are your clients using private 5G for? We've seen a big shift in what customers are using private 5G for. They're using it for the traditional use cases that we've seen, like oil and gas, to ensure worker safety, airports to make sure that the luggage gets where you want it to go. And now we're starting to see it in other venues, especially large outdoor venues like stadiums, where we see a combination of Wi-Fi for guests and we see private 5G for some of those critical services like making sure that people get through the door and video analytics to help understand if the lines are getting too long so that they can streamline operations and increase their sales. What key challenges are organizations facing in implementing edge AI and private 5G solutions to enhance their operations? On the private 5G side, the challenge that we're seeing is there's been a lot of complexity traditionally. There have been a lot of moving pieces that need to be integrated. Um, and the expectation was that the people who are working on it really understood 3GPP in the cellular space. What we're trying to do is standardize it to make it much easier for everyone to implement and creating that full stack, which we do with our friends at AMD, to make sure that we can provide an end-to-end -end solution and really accelerate and make it easier to adopt private 5G. And Harini, how do AMD's CPUs address the unique computational demands of edge AI and private 5G applications across various industries? AMD has a strong history of execution, and we have the highest performance products, especially when it comes to compute in this market. And um, we, uh, we are currently on our fifth generation Epic, and uh, Epic, uh, the Epic products actually have the best performance as well as energy efficiency, which is you know, one of the key requirements when it comes to 5G. And especially when you start looking at edge, some of the key requirements for edge is performance, but also energy efficiency that these processes provide. And edge has some unique requirements when it really comes down to being able to reduce that latency, especially and having that data at the edge and having the processing at the edge. And AMD CPUs, along with you know, the well-designed uh, DL325 here that we are exhibiting, is a great combination for the private 5G. Can you explain how this solution simplifies the deployment and management of low latency AI workloads at the edge? We're using, uh, we're, we're leveraging the technology from AMD in two ways. One is that we are placing our industry leading mobile core um, and delivering it as an appliance to make it easier for uh, enterprises to adopt. And that's leveraging everything that Harini just talked about. On the other side, we're also leveraging the compute capabilities so that once we're transporting the data for, um, over private 5G for AI analytics, we can do inference at the edge using all of the great uh, capabilities and energy savings, speed, um, and power that you actually need for AI that's in the server over here. How does this solution enhance video analytics? Actually, the market for video analytics is almost 75 billion by 2030. So the data at the edge and the processing of the data at the edge is becoming really prevalent because you don't want to take that data back to the centralized location. So having a high performance product, uh, product you know, and processor that AMD provides, uh, as well as having that power efficiency at the edge becomes very important you know, for video analytics and we do that very well together. Right. It's something that you can't wait and send it up to the cloud. The video analytics has to happen at the edge um, it, very quickly and that's what we do together. Harini and Gail, thank you for being with us today and sharing your insights. Thank Our you. Pleasure.